Hello everyone, spring is here and you know what that means. It's time to plant and start planting your garden. So today I'm going to show you how you can do some things indoor just to start off. Whether you have a balcony or a garden, you can do all of this indoors as a starter. So today we're going to do the celery. So I bought these celeries. I'm not finished eating it, but I'm going to show you what I do once I do finish the celery. So I have a stalk of celery here. And what I do is I would cut a bit of the celery here. So I am left with this. And so this part here is what I'm going to save because that's what I'm going to eat and my family's gonna eat. So I'll put that back and this is what I do. It's just that simple. And I trim off just a little bit of the bottom of the celery. And what I do is I just get any mug or bowl or jar with a little bit of water. So I have water in here. And you just put your celery in there. You can put it by the windowsill, anywhere there's sunlight. And just keep an eye on it that the water doesn't dry up. And eventually it will start to root and you will see some leaves coming out in between. And that's your celery starting to grow. I've already started and I have some. So I started with this one. This one is my first one that I did. And I just got a mug and filled it up with water and it started off as this and now it's has leaves and it's now shooting out some branches and while you see it shooting out you can either tie it with a string a bit so that it can grow straight or you're gonna end up having the celery stalk all over the place and it'll go crazy so just to show you this is what happens so you've got all the roots and this is going to be ready to be planted in the ground or if you have a balcony you can use pots and it'll need a lot of water and sun so you have to decide on what part of the balcony or the garden that gets a lot of sun so i've started off a few just to show you it's that simple this one's going crazy already so I need to tie it up and there's all the roots. Just make sure you change the water maybe every third day or so. And it's that simple. So those are, that's one of the things that you could do. Other things that I've done is I've got here rosemary. So with the rosemary, this was from last summer. So I've clipped this from um, the garden so that I'll have some for this year. Same thing, you clip it and then you just put it in water, put it by the windowsill and see now it's ready to root. This is totally ready to go in a pot or in the garden. But right now here, this is very, it's got a nice scent where you could rub it, it's very, it's got a nice aroma. You can smell it. And this is nice to have around the garden. The other ones that you can see, I've got it here. And this one knows it's spring because now it's flowering. And it's right there. And so I have basil also. This basil is from a clipping that I actually bought seeds from the dollar store. And that was two years ago. So two years ago, I keep getting clippings off it when the season's over and I bring the clippings in and I just put it in a glass and put it in water. And this is rooting 
you can see it and it still continues it's almost like energizer it goes on and on and on so um, those are a few things that um, I did so you just take a whole bunch of the clippings and you can do this so last year I did the tomatoes so I'll show you that again where you can get a slice of tomato and start that indoor so once the garden is ready and um, you can start planting them okay so stay tuned for um, more of my garden that we can grow indoors that it can accommodate whether you have a balcony or a full-size garden